Howdy folks, this is Al, and I'm playing Skyrim. Got me a new race menu. You should check out the race menu mod. This is fantastic. Yeah. I'm going to play a mage. Um, not going to play a destruction mage. I'm not going to blow stuff up. Actually, I'm going to set a, a limit for my gameplay that I do not actually play or use scrolls or use staves from the destruction school of magic. Yeah. Now, the original Skyrim magic system was crap. There's just no other way to put it. Just wasn't, it wasn't set up. You had some, basically some utility stuff you could add to it, but it really wasn't what you wanted. What you needed, however, is the ability to use magic in inventive ways. Things that, you know, other people wouldn't expect. The Illusion School had some great ideas, but it just didn't do it right. Um, restoration, of course. I mean, you have the, <laughs> you have the NPC in um, Winterhold that basically says, you, you think Restoration's a good school, right? It's viable. And yet, in the reality of the situation, no... No, it, it wasn't. It wasn't. I have potions. I don't need, I don't need you. Um, also, Conjuration really didn't scale up like it needed to do. Um, I, I think that if you look at uh, um, the, the idea behind a necromancer is not, hey, I can make one slightly weak zombie to follow me around. No, a necromancer is, yes, I have a thousand zombies and they all follow me. So I'm going to change the uh, the game a little bit by adding a bunch of mods yay uh, I've added oh let's see the the worst one is or possibly the best one the most game breaking one that I may take out is warrior Kiki's um, mod that basically adds a lot of force spells great idea except that it just there's force grip which is it doesn't take very much mana you grab somebody you hold them and they can't do anything literally you can hold them and shoot them at the same time and it's just terrible uh, or have your your followers do it so i did add that i added apocalypse spells which is fantastic and you should check that mod out i added uh i think it's called wither shins it's the restoration um mod basically specifically to adding specific spells to that and what i'm trying to do is to make restoration conjuration and illusion viable just yes this is all i need to do so i'm going to run, run this play through and, and play it that way now i'm going to tell you i also have races revamped a couple of the races that i have going right now um are really really crazy um if you look at you know look at what everything has okay so let's look at high elf everything's a 10 baby <laughs> everything's a 10 none of the other races have anything close to that um, and that's one of the things that the race mod that I put in does so we're gonna see how that works out but I'm not I think going to be a high elf because not only do I want to make it a little harder but I just want to see what else I can do out there uh, without having to be so concerned about uh, but I'm not sure that I really want to go with what's just mechanically the best i mean again high elf is you get all the schools you get a plus 10 which means you start out at 25 which means you can take the first perk on every um every one of the trees so in the perk trees you don't because the minimum is 20 usually so you don't have to do anything you just have it you have everything which is great but i don't want i don't <laughs> look he looks like a bug Okay, they all look like bugs. This the, the game is just terrible. And I'm I don't want to be a bug. I don't want to run around no matter what I do to these guys, no matter how I change them, they always look like bugs, you know? It's just one of those things. So yeah, I don't I don't really want to be a high elf. Now, I was looking at a couple of other things. One is the wood elf. I like wood elves, Bosmer as they call them. They're still kind of goofy looking, but your presets definitely are better. This is not what he would look like. This is just goofy. Again, another terribly angular, poor choice. Skyrim's not known for its beauty in, in, the, in the race characters, for sure. But with the, um, it's amazing race tweaks, and you can get it on, I know on Steam, and I think it's on the Nexus as well, but uh, the guy that does it has a whole, uh, one for every race. And two of the things that I really like, one, is because they're good scouts, you can find your enemies by tracking. 
which is glorious. I just, I just love it. I don't know how it's going to work in game, and I really want to see it. Um, and the other thing is, rather than just commanding animals with your, um, your power, your shout, not your shout, but your power, you can actually turn them into companions. You can basically cause them to be your buddy, be your friend. And although it's a horrible choice, <laughs> to, to just to be honest, I want to play an orc. I just, I really want to play an orc. If I'm going to role play, I want to, I want to role play an orc, trying to be a non-destructive mage. You know, just let's, you want to break some molds? Let's break all the molds. And I could still do blacksmithing. I'm sure if I have a, I'm, I will have to have a companion, if not several companions. Um, I, I will need that basically to keep me alive. I need all the meat shields. But I really am leaning towards playing an orc. I just think that Orc would be fantastic for trying, you know, you're going to make it difficult, make it really difficult. High Elf, quite obviously, mechanically, the, the better choice there. Look at it. I mean, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So you have 25 and everything. Orc, you get, well, you get heavy armor. <laughs> Maybe not what I want to do. You get two-handed. No, not good. Smithing will be okay. One-handed, no. Not very much. Blocking, no. But you get enchanting, so, you know, you can make stuff. Um, and so I'm kind of tossed between the, the orc and the wood elf. Now, the wood elf is obviously better than the orc in this, you know, mechanically talk, mechanically speaking. And I really don't wanna, do want to see how it works. So what I think I'm going to do is, for this run through, I'm going to be a wood elf. And then next time, and maybe if I want to do a role play, I'll do one as an orc. And we'll we'll see, you know what what comes of it. So, um, but anyhow, yeah, let's just take a look through this real quick. I do want him to be. I want you to be a little thick, buddy. Let's just zoom out a little bit. I he's gonna be a little beefy. It's okay. It's a little too beefy. I have to make his head bigger now. Skin tone. You know, he's a wood elf. He's in the woods a lot. He's darker. That's what I'm thinking. He's outside. He's got a tan. This looks kind of goldy but that's all right and now yes oh i'm sorry yes I, I i didn't know i had made changes that were that oh that's right because presets of skin tone and everything all right so no uh no isn't that the first guy not bad not bad a little too human to me um not bad Stracial, facial i like this guy this is number seven Number seven is it, I think. Without even, yeah. Seven. Oh, yeah. The seven. We have to change a few things about it. Make him a little thicker. Because, you know, you got to be carrying some stuff here, baby. And, yeah. I think everything else is good. So, um, complexion. Dirt zero. Okay, I'm going to run through this. I'm sure you guys don't want to watch. I'll show you the finished product, and then we'll move forward. You ever go through a ton of work on a character and you go all these things and it looks so good and it looks so good and it looks so good and you finally get them all done and you're like, what is wrong with this guy's face? You know, I just, I just don't see it right now. I don't know why, but I don't, I don't want to go all the way back. Hey, come on. Maybe his nose. Let's just change his nose. Let's change his nose and give him a little smaller nose. Yeah, so we're almost done. Um, I, I, I tend to spend less time on this maybe than other people do simply ooh, no, not that guy you're huge simply because I find that I don't ever see this guy I don't play in third person you know well, that's appropriately sized perhaps maybe right there come look at me my friend his skin's a little glowy and I couldn't get rid of that I don't know what's going on with that well I'll figure it out so anyhow but this is him this is him and uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna name him. Ooh, now that's that's a stickler there. That's when you don't know. Let's see. And so after much deliberation, I think I'm going to name him Darwin Two Paws. Yeah, because he's a hunter. He grew up. He's around animals. Sure, he's gonna get into magic, but he started out as a just a, a, a just a native to the woods. Aha! Now we get to watch all of the uh, mods load up. <laughs> so, yeah, 11 menus, baby. So I have quite a few. 
Falcon Reborn. Uh, I have quite a few. Five new menus, 16. I'm going to read this journal entry real quick just because we got to get it out of the way because it's done. There you go. That's for Helgen Reborn, which is a mod basically where you rebuild Helgen. Ah, I know, right? And Desperate Times. So in the MCM, I got all the stuffs. A Matter of Time. Yeah, this one I've never, I've never had a need for this one. I didn't even need, I didn't know I needed it. And now that I've got it, I don't know how I played without it. Uh, a Matter of Time is quite simply this uh, on the top left. Tells you what time it is during the day when you're in like a, a tomb or something. Should I should I sleep now or what? Is it dark outside? Yeah, that's awesome. I am gonna get rid of the date and the day because I don't I don't care. Yeah, what do I care? I may hate Morndis, but coffee. It's it doesn't matter, you know. So I'm gonna take care of that. Apocalypse spells. Oh, awesomes! Just amazing things I can do. Convenient horses, which actually I. I didn't download on itself. I, I downloaded a mod so that my daughter would have a unicorn. It's just called the unicorn mod or something like that. I'll link it. But yeah, so she wanted it and you have to have convenient horses really to make it work. And while I'm not wrapped around her finger per se, I do want her to have a happy Skyrim experience. So um, FNIS sexy move is basically, well, you'll see it. Women walking... Yeah, like they're trying to make money doing it. Immersive Armors is pretty cool. Jackson's. This guy does all the right things. It reminds me of uh, Dark Knight's mod for, for Minecraft, Things You Never Knew You Needed. It's just all the little... Oh, yeah, yeah. Why didn't I have that before? Lights, please. Renamer and Zoom. All very cool stuff. Backpacks. Realistic Needs is a huge pain. And let's just go ahead and turn it on. Alright, so basically what that's going to do is it's going to, you're going to starve to death if you're, if, if you're not eating, you can get diseases easily, and yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, but pretty, pretty demanding. Run for your lives. If there's a dragon, everybody go inside and let me kill it. Thanks. Sky UI is what it is. Uh, it's basically just a huge interface that just makes everything better. Sneak tools is you sneak up to people if you want to and knock them out. Yeah, the dance of death, which is kill moves galore. I love it. Um, unread books glow. I am a book fiend, a bibliophile of the highest caliber, both real life and in game. When I saw all the books you could have in this game, I cried a little. And then Winter Mist Enchants, which basically is a lot of different enchanted weapons um, throughout the game that are just neat little. Uh, again, things you didn't really realize you, you wanted or needed, and then bam, you have it. You don't have to play without it. So, But, um, yeah, so that's getting the character started. Look, check needs. I'd like to check. How are my needs? Currently peckish, slightly thirsty, not tired, and sober. Huh. Well, there you go, then. All right, so I'm ready for Skyrim, and that means we talk to the temple of, or the statue of Mara, to make our Approach choices. Child, and choose where your new life shall begin. 